Perfect. What's going on my friends back again with another tutorial for you guys today what i'm going to show you is this awesome effect within after effects i'm going to show you a bunch of ways you can customize this because there's a lot of different things you can do to actually make this effect different make it unique make it individual which is what i always recommend you guys do so here's what i came up with originally we got a few clips going on here here's the first little example i got with the clone kind of coming out of the person's body and then i also have some other ones like this one at the very beginning which i'm going to show you how i did in just a second as always if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe join the community so let's hop into after effects right here and the effect that we're going to be using is called a displacement map now I've talked about this before it's a pretty simple built-in effect you don't need any plugins which which is super good to know now the thing about this now the thing about this effect is you can distort different parts of the video for example the saturation any of the RGB colors lumens hue lightness anything like that so depending on your clip you can get different results what I did was I keyframed got the super cool effect with him coming out like this kind of like a ghost now it's not gonna look like this for every single clip let me show you guys how I animated this to kind of come out of his body and then I'm gonna show you guys some other things you can do to get better results every time and to create different looks with this so let's start from scratch let's go ahead and start on this clip in premiere i'm going to right click it and then replace it with an after effects comp okay so now let me just show you what i mean by everything is going to have different results so on that first clip all i had to do was add a little keyframe on the displacement map got that super cool result it's not always going to be the case so let me do the same thing i'm going to show you how to add the effect i'm going to show you how to animate it to move out of his body so let's go over to our effects library let's click this little button and then just click on effects and then what we're going to do is i'm going to look up the displacement map effect so look up displacement map talked about this like i said in a bunch of other tutorials links down below if you want to check that out let's place this displacement map effect onto our clip right here and then let's go up to our effect controls in the top left now what we can do is since this automatically defaults into five and five we can just set that to zero for now until we know what we actually want to switch now let's scroll through and find a good part of the video where we can add the effect another cool thing about doing this kind of animated displacement map you can create some cool transitions if you want me to make a separate video talking about that or maybe some other glow transitions or just like a whole video kind of dedicated to creative transitions let me know in the comments down below so i'm going to start the effect about right here so you can choose if you want to change the vertical displacement or the horizontal displacement whichever one you want to do for that original clip i showed you i actually changed the horizontal displacement to kind of make it move left so this is what i'm saying by every single result is going to be different making it move left isn't going to give you the same result it really just depends on the clip you kind of just experiment and find a really cool look so go ahead and experiment with what you'd like to displace whether it be any of the colors usually i stick to these three right here and i know already for this clip just I messed around just tried a bunch of them hue actually makes this look pretty cool we got some cool displacement going on here so to get that kind of animated look where it starts normal displaces and then goes back to normal this is what we're gonna do so let's just set the effect however we'd like it so I'll just bump it like that and then I'm just gonna keyframe it so click this little stopwatch button right here next to max horizontal displacement and then let's just move back a little bit to the left if you want you can keep it even and just move frame by frame I'll click page up five times so one two three four five and then I'm gonna set this to zero. So let's go click here, make it zero. Now let's go back to the middle. So page down, one, two, three, four, five. And then let's go five to the right again. So page down, one, two, three, four, five times, just like that. And then let's set this to zero. So we just created a quick little animation here. I just opened up the options so you can see where your keyframes really are. And I'll play that for you something like that. Now that's a little bit too quick. So to make it slower, we can just drag the keyframes out like that. And you're going to get a more dragged out animation like that. And then the opposite is true. If you want to make it faster, just drag the keyframes in a little bit more, just like that. Like I said, since every clip is different, it's not always going to look good. So I'm going to show you how to do another method, which I actually showed in my second example, which is a little bit different from the first, because as you see, it's only affecting the subject. It's coming out of his body like this. We got some other effects going on in here, the flickering, flickering, glowing, some distortion. So like I said, there's so many ways you can customize this because you're able to customize the background, the middle part, and then the actual distorted part. Go to our starting position right here and and then we can just delete this displacement map and we're going to start from scratch. So step one of what we're going to do to pull this off is we're going to mask out our subject. And I'm, and I'm going to show you an easy way to do this. If you guys are new to masking, check out the link below. I have a video talking about the fastest way to mask. I have a video talking about three different ways to mask within Premiere or After Effects. What we're going to be doing here is using rotoscope just because it's super quick and we don't have to make a super accurate mask. We just need to get the general area. So to do that, let's double click on our clip right here 
and we're going to be going into a layer. So it still says composition, so let's double click again. So now we're in the actual layer of this. So now we're in the actual layer. Now what we can do is come up here to our toolbar and just click this little button right here with the guy in the paintbrush. This is the rotor brush tool, so let's click that. So quickly, the way this works, if you guys are new, all you need to do is just draw in the area of your subject just like this, kind of like a little stick figure. Draw like that to the best of your ability and then let go and you're gonna see and you're gonna see the computer does its best job to kind of put a selection in the area that you chose. Now, obviously, you're gonna have to patch this up. So to do this, what you do is hold down Alt on your keyboard. And you're gonna see your cursor turn red, just like that. Now, what you can do is just trace the outline of your subject to kind of make the mask go where you want it, just like that. So pretty simple. If you want the full step-by-step -step tutorial talking about how to do this, check out the link. You can, what you can also do is go to your effect controls, bump up the feather to something maybe like 15 or 20. You could also go over here and just click brushes and then change the size of your brush if you do want a bigger or smaller brush. Since we're adding so much distortion into this, it doesn't even need to look that accurate. You can go over edges, so it's not really a big deal. All right, so that's fine. Now all you need to do is click page down and just do that frame by frame. Just make little adjustments for any times the mask kind of messes up a little bit. And as you see, it's actually doing a pretty good job at keeping within the mask. So you really don't even have to do that much work. Just anytime you see it mess up, just stop, zoom in, and then just hold alt and kind of add. And then, all, and then of course, you could always draw a mask to add back in just like that. Okay, guys. So once you've rotoscoped the area that you want to mask, what we can do here is hold down control and alt and zoom in on this little gray bar right here. And if for some reason you kind of clicked off something and you're not seeing this, just make sure your view is set to roto brush and refine, and refine edge right here. Sometimes people will click off that and they won't be able to see this so we have this bar now what we're going to do is we're going to take the end of this bar we're going to take the end of this bar and we're going to stop it at the beginning of this little blue box right here that was our starting point and then we're going to take the end of our bar and we're going to drag it to where our cursor is and then we're going to click the freeze button and that's and that is going to let the computer do all the masking so let's go ahead and click freeze just like that and you're going to see the computer does the freezing for us and here's what we have we have this part where it's cut out just like this which is super good and we're going to be using this composition layer just to see what our end result looks like but we're going to be adding the effects still in our layer so let's go back to our layer right here let's click that and you're and you'll know it's layer because it'll say layer here and it'll be like the full song so make sure you don't get messed up and make sure you're only working in the area that you want to work in so now let's go ahead and make it so that we can add some crazy stuff going on so so what we have is we just have this small area where the rotoscope happens so let's go ahead and add the background back so let's click on our footage let's click Control d to duplicate it and then on the bottom clip let's just open up our options and then we'll go to effects and then we'll delete the roto brush so now what we have is if I had the top layer, we have just our normal footage with the subject and the background. And then if I bring back only the top layer, we have the subject cut out from the scene, which is pretty good because now we can place things behind the subject. So since we have that layer cut out with the subject, we can now just put things behind it and it'll show up behind the subject just like that. So like I said, something super useful to know and knowing that is kind of going to be the basis of how we set this up. So let's just delete that example. So just so you guys don't get confused, I'll just rename this to subject roto and then I'll just rename this to just our plate footage like that. Now what we're gonna do is select the subject and then con and then we're gonna duplicate that. So control D. Now that we have those three things separated, we can add any effects we want to our plate footage, to the, to the middle, which is gonna be just the subject, and then to the top part, which is gonna be where our displacement map is. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's add our displacement map, which I showed you originally. So look up displacement map place that on our very top footage like that. It's affecting only the top footage just like that. And the reason why we duplicated it is because now what we can do is we can still place any other effect onto the subject itself without having to do a second mask. So say for example, I want, I want him to flicker. What I can do is just add a little flicker onto the middle and we'll have just him flickering. And then we'll bring back our top layer and we have displacement map on top of that. So now you can do the same thing. We can go up to our effect controls and then we can animate that however we want. Let's go to our displacement map and I'll set that back to hue. And you guys can do this however you want. Like I said, let's go ahead and make a little keyframe animation. I'm just gonna keyframe right here. And I'll set that to zero. Move a, few, move a few frames and then we'll just bump that up. And then the coolest thing and then the coolest thing is since we have each three of these parts separate, you can even take it a step further and add any effects to the background. So you really have full customization of the actual scene. You can change the background, you can change the subject, and now we even have a third layer adding for something coming out of the subject. So it's a super cool thing to know. Even if you don't use a displacement map, you can still use this kind of technique that I showed you. And this is one of those videos that I say it's really like because it's something that kind of inclines you to move more towards making something 
yourself and using the techniques. And, and I think that the best way to really set yourself apart isn't just to always copy a tutorial. It's to take that tutorial and really learn from it and really let it sink in. So anyways, guys, if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe, join the community, tutorials, music videos, travel videos. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.